Okay, so Jeff, we're looking at my system that we've just done. Um, we've got the two dual boilers here. We've got, I believe, how many, Willie? 17 pumps, circulator pumps. We've got uh, 15, 13 plus 2, 15. 15 circulator pumps. We did the primary and secondary looping as per your instructions. We're feeding 15 risers with three quarter inch pecs. We have the Tecmar 360 here. Mixing the radiators. Okay, we have the gauges. We have the expansion tank here. The hot water heater. We've got the Tecmar 274. We've got Taco um, boxes also. We've got a pump here. What's that pump for, Willie, there at the end? I believe it was going to be for the mixing. It's controlled by the 360, but that's my question. Does that become a primary pump from the 274? And do we add a new additional pump on a radiator loop to connect that? Okay, did you hear that? Uh, what was your question about that last pump? Does it become a primary pump for the 274, you said? Yes. Okay. That last pump, we're not sure why. Why did we put that there? Does anybody know? We, we, yeah. well, we thought that was a mix, mixing pump controlled by 360. But okay. Now we what made you think that? Just curious. I'm just because it was close to the, to the control. But it isn't. I can see it. Yeah. So that's a useless pump, possibly. No, it's, 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 it's making a loop over there for the for these. For yeah. The yeah. Oh, okay. So it is a functioning pump, but you don't know how to wire that, Pete. Is that correct? It's wired to the 360. I think it needs to go to the 274 as a primary pump. Okay. And then the new additional pump that Willie's going to add on the radiator loop will be connected to the 360, and that'll be a mixing pump. And do you have a problem with that, Jeff? Is that okay if there's a to position it here? Slip it down and push Point it to where you're going to position it, Willie. Let me just get over here so we can show Jeff. Okay. Okay, Jeff. This is the end of the line, Jeff. What's happening is when we turn on this system, uh, will you explain what's happening? So you, you're more when technically proficient. We turn on this system. It's uh, point it's to what he's we're doing here. That's just said. That's well, pump number fifteen. Yeah. It steals all the heat from that header immediately and it will not allow it to come down the header. It won't allow it to come this way. You know? Okay, so it's all right. And the and reason if we turn off fifteen and, and give it to nine. Like, it will only come as far as 9 if it's right. allowed to go to 8 or to 7. So it won't allow it to go before 9 either. It just a 1, will. it'll just feed 1. If you turn off 15, it'll go to 14, right? Or exactly, yeah. If 14's exactly. right. And then it'll robs the other exactly. ones. Exactly. So, Jeff, that's the problem we're having here. Yeah. And Willie wants to put a pump right here at the end to uh, yeah. prevent that from occurring. Yeah. Is that okay, um, is that okay with you? Um did we deviate from the diagram? Did the diagram say it was over there? Just curious. I mean, just. The diagram shows it over there before anything. Yeah. The right diagram right shows before anything, but it's so tight in here and it's such nice work. It'd be a shame to butcher this to throw a pump in. Correct, Willie? I mean, it's. Yeah. it's so we're looking to put it, it at. It can work if, if, if we have to, but it, 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 it'd be preferably, Jeff, if we can install it down here. There's room the in for. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be great. Right. Okay, Jeff. So, um,. We appreciate everything you've done for us so far. Um, obviously, time is of the essence. It's my personal house. I don't have heat, except in one riser, uh, which we're deciding which one to, to activate right now. So, uh, But um, please uh, call me, 845-554-5770, um, or Willie. I'll give you his number and email, and I'll give you a link to the YouTube.